What is good, y'all? I'm so hyped to talk about... Ugh, I love crabs. I love both of these Pokemon, and I've given both of them some super awesome, fun, unique buffs and changes that, I, again, I'm, I'm going to get into. I'm going to get into explaining the stat choices, the ability choices, all of the crazy new moves. I'm going to get into explaining that all in just a second, but I need to have a quick disclaimer for any new viewers. Uh, first of all, shout out to y'all. Appreciate you clicking on the video. You know, leave, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're a new viewer. Um, let me also know if you're a returning viewer. It's just good for me to know. Um, but yeah, make sure if you're new here, you pause the video and read the description. I've got like a bullet point list that explains the basics of the ROM hack and the way it's balanced. So definitely give that a read. And then when you're done with the video, you can check out all my other ones. I have tons and tons of videos for all the other Pokemon in the game. I have videos explaining the basics of the ROM hack. I have all types of useful resources linked down below in the description. So give that a look. Don't click off the video yet, though. Don't don't check out any other videos until you're done with this one. Uh, with all that being said, you know, make sure y'all drop a like, leave a leave a comment, sub if you haven't already. All that good stuff also really helps out with the algorithm and helps uh, support my work. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, I've got both Crabomita Boy and Crabrawler, man. I, lo I love both of these guys. Like I said, I love crabs. Um, they've got some really awesome abilities. So, first thing I want to explain for anybody who doesn't know, um, the reason I chose Regenerator is because... Um, the Pokedex explicitly says that they grow back their claws and pincers if they come off. Uh, so they grow back quickly. But not even just the fact that they grow back, but that they grow back quickly. Um, which, you know, that's a pre pretty common thing for like Pokemon with Regenerator. Um, also, in general, in, re in the real world, uh, crabs and most, if not all, crustaceans will grow back like lost limbs, especially like crabs and lobsters and stuff. So uh, that's that, that's uh, that hits home there. Uh, but however, Crabominable loses Regenerator. So basically, ugh, they're so cool. So Crabrawler and Crabominable... Crabrawler and Crabominable both have two defen incredible defensive abilities each, and then they both share the ability Anger Shell. So in Vanilla, they have Anger Point, right? And they are crabs, and so a pretty logical choice for them is Anger Shell. It's also just a really fucking cool underutilized ability. And in an in-game context, a plus one speed boost and plus one attack boost is more than enough to get several kills in a row if you can time it correctly. Not to mention you can go extra crazy if you want to do some cheesy, like, Endure Salakberry stuff. You know, that's so easy to pull off versus AI, right? So, you know, if you go for Endure Salakberry, now you've got plus two speed, plus one attack, right? And of course it does lower your defenses by one, but that's not really a big deal when you're outspeeding and one-shotting everything anyway. Um... Yeah, these guys are so fun. Not to mention, towards the end game, they even get Crab Hammer, which is the uh, same as Cloth, right? So Cloth is another Anger Shell Crab with Crab Hammer, and Crab Hammer is, is a really good tool to cheese any anti-setup stuff, like Quick Claw, or Sash, or Sturdy, or Priority Moves, or whatever it is. Um, especially on Stab with Crabrella, but even on Crabomita Bullets, it's very... Not only is it just a strong tool in general, but especially if you're going for Anger Shell Sweeps, it's really, really useful uh, to allow you to... I mean, it's honestly pretty broken, I would say, because it's, assuming that you're outspeeding everything at plus two speed, which you you are uh, plus one you outspeed a good amount of stuff especially Crabrawler with the slightly faster five points faster just for flavor right I mean Crabrawler looks like it should be a bit faster even in vanilla he's actually uh, faster than Crabominable so um, they're both so bulky man so yeah uh, I'm gonna talk about the anger shell stuff later in the video because I want to talk about the defensive use because that's so they're both so cool defensively I love them um, so Crabrawler obviously is very bulky with a Violet, and he has Regenerator, and he has Shell Armor with that new water typing. Um, you know, there's going to be some Puritans in the comments. Not every Pokemon that's aquatic needs to be water type. Da da da. I don't really care. Uh, you can shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, uh, to me, Crabrawler should be either fighting water or fighting bug at the very least. Um, fighting bug with like a water really like water absorb would be kind of sick, but um, I think water turning into ice specifically is, is pretty cool. So that's why I chose to go with the water. Um, yeah, Regenerator is awesome, and then Shell Armor is really good, not only because you have like stuff like Iron Defense and Amnesia, so not only do you, so you can, like, this guy is broken in two separate ways, right, because the Anger Shell sweeping stuff is really strong, especially once you get that Grab Hammer, but even in general, it's really strong, but then you also have stuff like Razor Shell, Iron Defense, and Amnesia to boost your defenses, and, uh, you know, never get crit through those uh, defense boosts, so you can just sit on things forever with Amnesia, Iron Defense, uh, Shell Armor, Crabrawler. Uh, not, not, even without a Violet, you don't even need a Violet at that point, but obviously a Violet is still good. Um, you've got Drain Punch too, Molt. Molt is essentially bug type recover, which, I mean, obviously fits them as they are crabs, and crabs do, you know, Molt. Um, so yeah, that's really good. They've also got, you know, some really cool bug type utility moves, like First Impression and U-Turn, and Creeping Strike, and all types of other priority, like Mock Punch, Bullet Punch, Think Fast, Sucker Punch, as well as um, Ice Shard, and yeah, that's all really good. But... Yeah, even like Iron Defense Body Press with Stab and Shell Armor, that, that shit is... Oh my god, I just realized. I fumbled, I fumbled, I fucking... Oh my god. He shares Shell Armor with Samurott. 
No, honestly, who cares? It's whatever. It's whatever. I'm too lazy to. I don't want to have to think of a new ability for him. It's fine. I, I like I like Shalomar way too much on him too. But it's whatever, man. There's three ability slots. There's gonna be a little bit of overlap once in a while. I really don't want to bother. <laughs> it just realized mid video, bro. Oh well, man. You know, Samurai's got the weak armor sharpness. This guy's got the regen. Not to mention, this is an NFE. Technically, he still has an evolution, so the overlap isn't as big of a deal to me. If he was fully evolved, that would probably uh pick a different ability not that the fact that he's nfe means he's like inherently worse or anything i mean the whole point of me designing pokemon like this is that you can keep the pre-evolved form oftentimes the design is different or the typing is different or, and usually the abilities are different too so the vibes are different right some people prefer crabrawler over crabominable some people hate crabominable they think he's ugly some people love crabominable i'm i'm in that party i love both of them but i think crabominable is super fucking cool i love yeti crabs i love his big giant hands um could his design be better yes is he ugly yes but i kind of like him for that um Speaking of Kabamnobi, yeah, so he has two incredible defensive abilities with great bulk. So his bulk in general is good, right? 107, 107, 77 is, great, is very solid. And his defensive typing, while most people would consider it bad, in an in-game context, is not actually that bad. You do at least have three good resistances in Dark, Ice, and Bug. Um, bug might not seem like a good resistance, but it's definitely pretty valuable in a ROM hack like this. And yes, you do have a good amount of weaknesses, but what makes up for that is the fact that your defense and special defense can be doubled at any point. Literally, all you have to do is use the Ability Changer, switch to Fur Coat, next boss fight, switch to Permafrost, and you have the freedom to switch between these two abilities. It's really fucking strong. Really, really defensive. His bulk becomes absolutely insane. Um, I am too easy to do calcs, uh, but I'm almost positive he is bulkier than... Yes, no, I know for a fact he is bulkier than uh, a Violet Carballer by a lot, but only when he's using Fur Coat and Permafrost, right? With Anger Shell, Carballer is bulkier, which can definitely be useful. Not to mention their typings are different. Carballer has different typing synergies and, and resistances and weaknesses uh you know stuff like that is really important not to mention um the fact that uh Crabominable can hold like uh, more defensive items and so therefore that can make him even bulkier like for example assault vest or whatever or any types of you know quick claws oh, they're so good on both of them um just being able to run full defensive like this guy can 1v1 so many ones with that fur coat or permafrost option um, you don't always have to go offensive Anger Shell, although I will say, even just with the plus one speed, right, it's pretty easy to trigger Anger Shell in-game. In competitive, it's more un it's, it's unreliable, the, AI, uh, the real player can play around it, but versus AI, they're just going to attack you, so you know exactly at what point you're going to be getting into the Anger Shell range. You can also bait a specific attack and hard switch in to get into Anger Shell range, and again, you can also do that indoor stuff I was saying earlier. Um, so I will show you their speed tiers real quick, so Crabominable... With a neutral speed nature, which is what you're going to have most of the time, is hitting 333, which is... This is incorrect. There we go. Yeah, 10... 101 base speed. So, Crabramable with only plus one is outspeeding base 100 uh, with a neutral speed nature, while Crabrawler is hitting almost base 110. He's hitting like 108, if I had to guess. Yeah, he's outspeeding base 108. So that's, you know, almost a 10 point base speed difference between them with the Anger Shell boost. Uh, and that's with plus one speed. With plus two speed, they both outspeed everything. So if you're doing like Silac Berry strats, then, you know, it doesn't really matter because they're both outspeeding the whole game for the most part. Um, even with a minus speed nature, you're still outspeeding pretty much the whole game with plus two speed because that's just how speed calc works. Um, so that's really good. Uh, yeah, these guys are so versatile, right? You can use them offensive with that Anger Shell, switch to the Shell Armor, switch to the regen. You've also got like U turn regen. Uh, you've got battle cry regen all types of fun you know even battle cry shell armor if you don't want to go with the amnesia iron defense route um yeah dude, i fucking i really do love these dudes so much um that razor shell giving you plus one defense is really good especially on crabrawler with that stab and shell armor but it's also good on crabominable um uh, ice hammer is you know very strong ice type double edge Superpower is giving you minus two attacks. So that's a big nuke type attack. So, and obviously in the end game, shit like reversal and finishing blow is also very broken. This thing becomes like pretty stupid. I would honestly maybe it's up to you if you want to allow that type of sweeping or not. Um, they've also even got like multi hit moves with loaded dice. You can do like loaded dice anger shell with like icicle spear, pummel, wallop, you know, shit like beat up, stuff like that even. Uh, which breaks through focus sash at that point so not only do you have crab hammer to break through sash and energy shield and all these other like stop caps for sweeping uh, but you, for example you can use crab hammer for a, for a quick claw mon and then in that same boss fight you use icicle spear or pummel to uh blitz through a focus sash so yeah it becomes pretty crazy and finishing blow will give you plus three attack when you knock something out which is really crazy um so you can use that with anger shell 
you know, Salakberry, Anger Shell, Finishing Blow, now you're just going absolutely insane. And then with Reversal, so again, in competitive play, something like Reversal seems kind of like whatever, pretty gimmicky, but in-game, these types of moves are really broken um, because it's just so easy to time them and, and exploit the AI. And essentially, you have a 200 base power stab move with plus two speed and plus one attack, right? Endure, Reversal, Anger Shell, you go absolutely insane. You could even do Weakness Policy, but then you're much slower. I, would, I mean, you could do Weakness Policy, Anger Shell with like Mach Punch or some shit, but, Mach Punch and Ice Shard and stuff, I guess. But uh, the main thing would be Salak Berry with Reversal, and you just you just you don't even need more than plus one attack out to Oko everything, right? And anything that doesn't die, you have Crab Hammer to chip them. Sorry, my music just didn't loop properly. Um, you have Crab Hammer to chip them into range. All types of fun offensive tools you can experiment with. And then defensively, again, that Body Press. As far as I know, Body Press does not work with Fur Coat, by the way, if you're curious. Also, for those of you who don't know, I mean, I don't think I need to explain the logic choice for Fur Coat or Permafrost or Shell Armor or Anger Shell. I mean, they're very, very, very fitting, which is why I love these buffs, because they just fit so fucking well. And they're just so cool. And the, the abilities synergize really well with one another. Like, again, they're just so perfect. Like, you're going to be using all three ability slots all the time, which is, I love, I love shit like that, right? Um, yeah, even, I mean, Temper Flares, you know, Fire type Wicked Blow, Stone Edge is Rock type Wicked Blow, so those are uh, pretty good options as well. Brutal Swing is Dark type Double Edge, so you've got your fair share of strong covers moves. Um, not that you need them that often, but it, it's good to have, especially with Movie Learner, you can kind of tack it on whenever you need to hit something specifically super effective. Um, Crabrawler, the only ice move they get is Ice Punch. Um, meanwhile, of course, Crabomitable gets tons of powerful Ice Stab moves. Uh, ice Punch is fine, though. I mean, it's 80 base power, solid move. Uh, ice Spinner gives you plus one speed, which is also really good with Anger Shell, so you could totally do some like Anger Shell Ice Spinner strategies. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything I need to talk about, so I really do appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Again, I really don't want to underestimate excuse me, how good the defensive stuff of these guys are. Even stuff like... Uh, and there's so many ways you can use this, like Anger Shell, SD, plus Mach Punch, Ice Shard, you could do... Um, just in terms of anger shell stuff, you can do that. You can do like uh, bulky fur coat permafrost avalanche. Avalanche is a 140 power move. If you move last and get hit first, and with fur coat and permafrost, you take hits no problem. So you can do like avalanche and then finish them off with a mock punch or a bullet punch or whatever you know priority move. Um, that's it's just so cool. I, I love it. I love these guys. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you enjoy these guys as much as I do, or maybe now you do. Maybe you didn't like them before, now you like them more. Um, and also just leave a comment down below if you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate that if you did. Peace, y'all.